Oh my god, it's him! It's him! Lamar Wilson! How you doing? Good to see you, Lamar Wilson here back for another video and it's story time! Story time! Oh my god, it's story time! So last week, Apple invited me, some of y'all saw this on Twitter, on Instagram, they invited me to their event, first time ever. If you've been around for a while, you know before this, well years ago, I was an exclusive tech channel and they were like, who are you? I transitioned into doing more gaming stuff and they're like, hey, hey handsome guy over there. <laughs> How about you come to my house? <laughs> It wasn't exactly like that because they're not that creepy. Just disclaimer, they did pay for my trip, but they didn't pay for my opinion. So the main Apple event, which is normally uh, caught online as you probably watched it or saw some clips or whatever. I normally watch it in my underwear at home. This time I got to be in my underwear in person. <laughs> Can you imagine if I just showed up? I'm like, would they let me in? Like I said, the live was electrifying. <laughs> It's starting. It, here, the, you can tell who the Apple employees were, boy, because Tim Cook sneezed and they were like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he didn't really sneeze, but seriously, you knew who the Apple employees were there. After the event, they opened the floor up in the back to everyone, including the press and our, us who were invited. And we got to see the iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro Max Endgame Battleship. Uh, Powerpuff Girl, Infinity Gauntlet. What was it called? It was just, it was such a long name. And also they had the iPads and the watches on display. Here's the thing about those things. Uh, I think I have footage of, of how it looked. The press and the YouTubers, so I, I consider them press as well, were like at the table. I could not get to a table. They were there with their cameras and their professional gear. And 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 I don't have, I don't have photos of this or pictures to prove it, but but I Justine and Marquette, oh, you were in my way. I just wanted to touch the phone and I could, y'all were in my way. <laughs> I got footage of the phone like on a display and I got to see that up close and it looks really cool. So yeah, I did pre-order the iPhone 11 Max Pro YouTube partner, full screen, uh, infinity, something, whatever it was, I, I ordered that one. I believe it was the Space Gray 512 one, uh, gigabytes because you know, video. Also got an Apple guy to give me a demo of an AR game on the, the new iPad. And it was really cool. I was I was surprised at how how well AR is coming along. It just it was sleek and interesting. And um I'm not gonna get that iPad because I don't believe in buying an iPad every I buy the I, see this is crazy. Cause somebody gonna say, well Lamar, you buy the I I buy the phone every year because it's kind of what I do. But when it comes to the MacBooks and iPads, I don't like to buy those every year. I know the reviewers do, but I'm not a reviewer. So I'm just a consumer like you. I just happen to be, I hate the word influencer, but you know, that. I, I just, um, I just, I'm, not, I'm gonna skip that one. I have the iPad Pro, it's, it's great. I was also able to check the always on new Apple Watch. You know, it looks good. I'm gonna be getting, I think Space Gray or that all black one. That's the one I'm gonna get the sports edition. Gotta keep it cheap, cause that's what I have now. But instead of gold, I'm going to the black. And I think the always on feature would be kind of cool because sometimes I gotta say, I mean, I like it jet black, but sometimes when I turn, it, it doesn't, I wonder if they did that on purpose like six months ago. So I feel like it's been harder to turn this on. They're like, oh, we have a solution for you. <laughs> hey, introducing the uh, always on. Are you having trouble with your wrist being able to detect? Mm -hmm. I see what y'all are doing. Make me spend all that money. Stop it. Later, we got to have lunch at the visitor center and I <laughs> I snuck upstairs to like the area no one knew about. Okay, I didn't really sneak up there because, you know, they would have thrown me out if, if was, I wasn't supposed to be up there. But it was hardly anybody up there. It was beautiful up there. I was just like, I want to I want to live here. I want to eat lunch here every day. And then later that day, our group did a tour of the Apple spaceship, otherwise known as their headquarters. And we couldn't take video. We couldn't even take pictures. There was some awesome sites and like everything was just so clean and sleek and beautiful and we just, i just wanted to sneak up i even said in the video i was gonna i couldn't sneak anything they were watching i feel like if i took out my phone there'd be some kind of alert some laser would zap it and be like Arr! and then let you keep me and then they put me into the uh, apple timeout area i know they have one and, and then i'll come out very obedient and like yes sir sorry sir 
Uh, that is a good story. D during the the, the tour, uh, if you've seen pictures of the of the Apple thing, you, you know it has that, that, that circular and has these curved glass, lots of glass. They were telling us about you know how remarkable the building is, how energy efficient, how you know it's all solar and all these great things. And I, and we could have asked where the secret Apple testing room is, but no, our question was, uh, excuse me, um, who cleans the windows? <laughs> that was the we have one question. <laughs> All right, so the next day we got a new a new badge. This was this was the old one. We got a new one with black, so we won't try to sneak in. This was about Apple Arcade, and we got to go into that room, and um, it was a lot of people there. So let me try to explain Apple Arcade as easy as I can. I'm, I'm, and I'm saying this like I'm not trying to sell it to you because that's not my job. I'm not I'm not getting paid to do it, nor do I want to sell it to you. I just want to explain it as easy as I can because. I had to ask a few times what this is and who it's it for, and I think I got a good explanation. Apple curated about 100 plus games from various developers who developed these specifically for Apple. The games can play offline and online, which uh, let me just tell you, being on that airplane, I was, I, I need that because I opened something as simple as Super Mario Run, which should be an offline game, right? But all those games ping the internet, even if you're not using internet, and I, it wouldn't let me play. It wouldn't even log into the game. I am gonna appreciate the offline mode. So they said the games are in all categories and there's something for everyone. This is like the Netflix of games or the Game Pass of games, cause it's also, all the games can play on your iPhone, on the iPad, on Apple TV. And the one that surprised me, cause I didn't know about it ahead of time, the Mac. So you have, and they all sync through iCloud. So you can play on your iPhone, then jump over to your Mac and continue the game. Then you can jump on your Apple TV if you have all four. And you can do it through AirPlay. And so I'm like, wait a minute. You can play them on all these devices, offline, online. There's no microtransactions. There's no extra hidden things that you have to do. It's $4.99 a month. And for six members in your family or your family group, like that's when I appeal to families. I, I I told the lady I said that that's this is for families. The mom or dad can say, hey, this is a game service. I know it's safe. I I can choose which games my kids can play with. Five bucks a month for six people. I can't really say anything negative about that. I want to because it's mobile gaming. We know how we think about mobile gaming, but I can't really say it, it's a good price point. They even said for the more pro gamers, they're going to have like challenging games. I, I played one RPG game that uh, said it had about 12 to 20 hours of gameplay. And I was like, I'm mobile, but I forgot, but you can play it on your TV. So you can go to controller. And by the way, you can use the controller on the phone, uh, on iPad and on Apple TV. And I believe on a Mac, when I say you can use the controller, I mean PS4 controller. Xbox One controller, or they have a Bluetooth one cup, the Steel Series, and, and I think a couple other brands. But I was like, all those those controllers I have downstairs, oh my God, they have a 30 day trial. So I think that's the smartest thing that they could have done. Let people try it. Explain to them that it's just not on the phone, on Apple devices you can play. This is actually gonna be compelling. These games were good. For instance, there was this game called Hot Lava that I played on the phone. And let me tell you, like, even though I don't I don't love motion controls, this game was like really challenging and really fun. That favorite of, of people when they heard about this one, the Frogger. It's called Frogger in Toy Town. Now that one was fun. What I liked about that game, and I heard a lot of other ones they have, that one you could flip to where's my phone? Oh, hi. <laughs> you can flip to vertical or you can play this way. So I was like, ooh, that's awesome. But my favorite game of the bunch was called Super Impossible Road. The only way I can describe this game is like, what well, this they describe it this way too. It's like Rainbow Road on Super Mario Kart, but with the ball. And it is super challenging. I did play it on the tablet and I found that I liked playing it on the tablet better, but I bet on the phone would be great. I used a controller with the tablet and it also, and that was pretty amazing too. So a game I also played was called Skate City. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm not a skater. I'm not having to get skater, but I, skating, but I just, I mean, I used to roller skate, but I never skateboarded. Uh, so I, I went in with the, with the like, oh, okay, whatever, I'll try it. Since they were like, hey, do you wanna try this game? Sure, I'll try it. I gotta say, the, the it's actually very technical, but very easy to understand and very engaging. Like I was, 
I, I played a few times and I just like, oh no, I, I didn't do that trick. I got to do it again. And the guy walked me through how to do it, uh, the, the publisher of the game or the creator. And I really enjoyed it. It was a great game. I was like, okay. So at the end of the arcade event, they provided us with this cool t-shirt. And also they gave your boy a year of the Apple Arcade. I got back to my hotel room. I, I'm skipping a little bit because I, I did buy some stuff at that gift, that Apple store that was in the, the visitor center. I'll talk about that in just a second. But went back to my hotel room and there was a bag. I like, who let you, who told you all to come in my room? Cause I had to do not disturb on. But in the bag was a brand new pair of, uh, I know the light is bright, of AirPods. I was like, thank you, now get out my room. But remember I told you I was at that Apple visitor center where they had an Apple store in there, of course. But this one was unique because they have some some, some things that you can, I think, only buy there. And so I got, I spent all this money. I got a, a hat, a black hat. That should, it says Apple on the side, well, the Apple logo. It's just, I like this because it's all black. Like, this is nice. I think this is a t-shirt. Uh, yeah, let's see, let's see which one I bought. They had a lot of retro type t-shirts, and I like this one the best. And so I bought this one. Yeah, it just says Apple, but it's in the multicolors, like the from the old school Apple Twos or something like that. I don't, I don't know, but it's like that era. I actually forgot what is this. I actually forgot what I what I bought. What is this? Oh, it's a tote bag. I was like, what did I buy? So it says Apple Park, and, and that's because that's what it is. It's the Apple Park in California, and so it's a nice, nice little Trader Joe's grocery type bag. So people can know that I visited Apple while I'm eating healthy, I guess, I don't know. Also, I bought these these memory cards, which I thought was, I thought they were playing cards. I don't know if they are. On the back, they say, you let the card, they say Apple in California. I don't know if they're playing cards, but they're, they're different cards. They're just different cards of different Apple things. I don't know what you do with these, or you play a game, there are no instructions, but I bought them. And here's my receipt, 125. So overall, it was a really fun experience. It was my first time at such a big event. And I was, I'm just, I was just so excited and honored to be chosen to go to that. And I got to see some cool friends and make some new ones. Wawa Juice, shout out to you. What's up my boys? We're waiting for the Apple event to start. The music is bumping. It is bumping. I am, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready too. Hey. What's up? What's up? <laughs> he is so cool. I'm interested to know what you all think about a mobile gaming subscription. And yeah, let me comment, but but not just focus on Apple, because I know some of y'all don't like Apple, but just so you know, Google, as far as the rumors are going, are working on the same thing for the Play Store. So they're, they're rumored, I don't know if it's true, it's a five dollar subscription, same thing as, as Apple Arcade, we're similar. And so Android people can experience that too. So would you pay five dollars a month for a unique experience for mobile for six people in your family group. Family group don't have to just be family. You, you know, you know, you can get your friend. It's just a group. I would do it regardless of the card they gave me. I would do it. I am doing it. So guys, thanks for watching. Let me know about that below. And um, I'm, none of y'all listen to this. I'm just gonna speak to Apple right now because I know you're watching. Hey Apple, do me a favor. Um, <laughs> so I, <laughs> um, <laughs> I did my pre-order. Okay, already. It was a lot of money I spent. You know, I got that uh, that big one and the ninety nine. You know, the nine ninety nine for the Apple. Can you hook a brother? I, I'm just, I I don't like to ask for stuff. Like, can you hook a brother up? The, uh, nobody got to know. My audience ain't watching this part. They already left. Can you hook a brother up? That's all I'm saying.